Hello, hello, brothers and sisters. We're gonna play Arena Kings, and the first game is already against a well known Grandmaster. If I'm not mistaken, it is Hammer. Wow. Fantastic start of the tournament. Fantastic start. So, what are we going to do here? Bishop C4. Jakara Khan will be hard game. It will be a hard game, but we will try. So I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna fight today. So, what is this? Is it really playable? I mean, probably yes, but... Looks a bit strange, so let's play natural moves. B4, and so on. Queen D5, alright, castling. How is he going to protect E6, in fact? He came from F7? Highly unlikely. Probably he will castle, but then I will play C4. And looks already very, very good for me, to be honest. So now it's the question what to do. To play C5, V4 quickly with this B5 play, or just to play Rook E1. Trying to what? To do what? To attack E6. Mm, got no idea. I think this is, this is a good idea. To be faster a bit. He will definitely play E5, but after B4... I think c5 is protected, this bishop on c f8 is quite limited, so should be fine. Okay, counterattack. Here is the counterattack. Is it fast enough or not? I'm not sure. But it's better to overprotect d4. Our bishop is stupid for now. But a bit later, I'm going to activate it. And I believe I will have a chance. The only problem is that I have only one minute now, which is bad. So, one minute and 30 seconds. Alright, A4, B5, or B5 immediately, I don't know. Let's play B5 right now. Let's play B5 right now. Uh, let's capture. So, we basically need some activity here. So, I guess D5 should be played. So, I mean, e d5, knight d4 looks very promising. If queen d5, then c6. So, I'm going to open up a position as fast as possible. So simultaneously, we're playing. I'm just checking if everything goes okay with the stream. Feels like that. So, let's do it. Let's fight. So, now queen a6 followed by c6 looks great, but I'm somehow tempted to save the queen on the board. Not sure if it is a correct decision, but right now it looks very promising anyway. And now, what, 96? Looks great. Uh, but then bishop takes e3. Unfortunately, knight to c6 is probably not enough. Um, probably I misplayed it. Probably I misplayed it. You know, let's make just one more move. Exerting some pressure, but probably it's already not that great. But position felt very good, in fact. Queen a6 probably was better than, followed by c6, and so forth. Yeah, now it's no longer that great looking. Um, okay. Let's keep on fighting. Let's keep on fighting, at least creating some shreds, you know. Queen c4, knight c6 check. Is it really so great for it? For black. It's hard to believe, but it looks like everything works more or less here. Even bishop e3 is possible now, wow. But then queen d7 maybe. And maybe queen d7 creating a sort of a checkmate on b7, attacking it three times. So probably rook rook takes is forced. Or after I have rook to c1, looks like a winning position. Wow. Looks like just a winning position. White. It would be nice to to hammer hammer.
Wow. Bishop f2, probably I can even play king h1. Feels like that. I don't see a good defense. I don't see a good defense. I'm just going to take that pawn. If queen a6, then queen c8 checkmate. <clears throat> 10 seconds. We have 23. Feels like we are just punishing. Grandmaster Hammer! Just a great start. Well, this is just. Okay, desperation. Alright! Fantastic start. Just a fantastic start. We just hammered hammer. Amazing. Okay. Very inspiring. Very inspiring. Let's go. Let's go on. E4. E5. Knight F3. Let's play active chess. So again, just checking if the stream is okay. Feels like that. D6. C3. Preparing D4. Let's play D4. I'm gonna play aggressive chess. Fighting for the center, which pawns. Alright, now development. Okay, what about knight d4 now? Intending to put it on f5, looks interesting. So let's do it. Let's do that. Knight e5, okay. I'm gonna castle. Now I have different ideas. F4, knight f5, I can do both actually. Let's play f4. Let us play active chess. Knight to c4, okay. Where this knight is going, I'm not sure. But I'm tempted to use the temple to attack it. It's queen d3. Probably forcing the knight there. Alright. Now knight f5 looks very promising. Continuing with the attack. And my queen can go to g3 at some point. Alright, g6. G6 is risky for black here. Because now, after, say, taking on e7, uh, there are a lot of dark squared weaknesses all around. What if I just continue the natural play like b3 bishop b2 it looks very promising but at the same time it feels a bit slow so maybe f5 is better followed by bishop g5 it is faster but i weaken e5 on the other hand well i think we can we can just take our time here protecting everything even over protecting and then after bishop b2 we'll have gorgeous position with this poor knight on b6 and complete control of this long diagonal at some point we're gonna play so looks very promising but again sort of problem with the time but it's not very critical I think so now we have a shred of what we're just playing e5 maybe or just jumping with the knight somewhere e4 is not hanging of course because we capture and the bishop and the queen control this long diagonal so Let's see. Let's see. This already looks very dubious. Already looks very dubious. So what about b4? Force it the knight to d7. Now say takes. And simply work to d1. With a complete centralization. Fuxia came. Hello. I'm happy you're here. Thanks for following. Alright, now what? Now e5. Mm, probably not the best move. But now I want to do what? To just play this? Or maybe e4. What is better? a4. Looks good. By the way, folks, uh, if, I don't know if you if you saw that, but I already won hammer uh, in the first round. All right.
right. So what about e6 now? Knight goes to f6. It's not completely clear. But it's so tempting. I'm gonna try this. Let's take. Let's put the knight on c5. Aggressive play. Uh, G4. Let's keep on playing aggressive chess. So... What about this? All right, pal. It is mine. Just the rook. Just the rook. Couple of pawns. All right, next game. Here we go. Not the best, not the worst start. Not the best one, of course, but not the worst. I mean, I was too slow in the previous game. It's time to play a bit faster, because the point behind the arena is actually to collect points quickly. Otherwise, if somebody else just plays faster than you, okay? maybe not in time to to catch up bishop c4 okay what to do now let's take the pawn all right knight e3 is possible if i want but uh probably i'll try just this move now knight e3 looks better than on the, on the previous move, but who knows? Maybe it's not even needed. That's just castle. Again, playing aggressively. Playing aggressively. And this looks nice. So we're just attacking d4 several times if c4 we have bishop takes c4 bishop takes f3 defense now here is the isolated pawn on d4 nice object of attack probably just bishop f6 attacking it directly now i want to capture it with, with the knight i mean it was an important bishop and pawn on e5 is still isolated pawn, so I guess. Check. Should I grab b2 pawn or not? Oh, it's not so clear. So let's just activate the pieces instead. And probably rook to c2. Now queen to d3, it's too aggressive, I guess. Just rook to d8 first. Rook to d8 first. Okay, I'm not against. I'm not against this. Now. Rook to c2. But then rook to d3. But okay, maybe I will just exchange that rook. This position looks nice again. So this active rook on c2, attacking d2 already. First rank is not that protected. We should understand that. Uh, what about bishop b4 now? I mean, the knight is pinned actually. Now we can probably play bishop g4. Be almost over, I guess. 
too many pins, I mean, all around. I'm gonna take on f3, take on d1 or d2, depends. Probably taking on d2 also. Just kind of strat. Alright, d6 doesn't really stop me. over it's over now and I have a minute so I'm not sure what my opponent is going to achieve here <clears throat> so let's just collect the material just important not to blunder something stupid but it's really hard to do in such a position all right let's keep on let's keep on moving Here we go. Time to resign, my friend. I'm not sure what are you going to do here. Let's go. Oh, Ammon Hamilton. Ammon Hamilton. All right. Let's play something solid. So. What do we have here? We have French defense actually. But with the pawn on f2, usually in such a with the pawn on f3, in such a situation, it's usually a good idea to put the queen on g4. But all right, this is also quite quite good. Aggressive chess, just aggressive chess. What should we do here? Let's take this one. Here's a nasty threat of playing knight to g3. How to prevent it? Maybe I'm over ambitious here. Feels like that, at least. But we should protect it somehow. Let's do this. We should protect it somehow. This square, I mean. Now let's attack the rook. Okay, bishop is here forever now. There is no f6. Now it's time to understand where to go with the knight. Knight should be basically on f6. Let's go there. Let's go there. Look can h3 protect c3 as well. Knight g4. Knight f6. Looks nice. Now what? Now we have to play h5 at some point, so let's go away with the king. Artur Navrovsky came, that is nice. That is nice. Okay, it's hard to achieve anything. What about exchanging queens? I know it's probably not that great first glance but this queen is annoying attacking a4 and I want to just get rid of it and then play rook h1 h5 and just get into f7 at some point should be not that terrible idea okay now it's time to come up with some sort of control play Otherwise, it can be late. 
maybe already late. This pawn looks just um, very strong and very hard to, to stop. Do we have some checkmating ideas there? Mm, I hardly think so. Can we stop it with the king? King e1, a4, king, no. We're not in time, oh my god. That was just too much. Overestimation of the position. Overestimation of the position now is just awful. It's just lost. Yeah. Absolutely lost position. Let's resign. Alright. First loss. First loss. But... Uh, the last time I won Arena Kings, I actually also lost to Ammon Hamilton. It's like a bad luck against this guy every time. I'm not sure what my opponent wanted to do, but this is a famous thing of Bishop B3, seriously. Just extra pawn for, for, for nothing. Absolutely. We're gonna win this game, I think. Just castles. So what? Oh, he regains the pawn quickly. But... Isn't it dangerous, I mean, to play like this? Probably not that dangerous. Alright. Let's close this bishop. too early it's too early for that how to play this correctly how to play this correctly or maybe it's just okay for that let's play b5 our idea is just to make this bishop stupid for the rest of the game and I think we will succeed. Should be a good position for black. Should be just a good position. So now, what to do? protect my d5 pawn intending to do some like c5 c4 at some point of course I have to be careful about this capture in d5 because well my bishop is pinned after that I think I can do a lot of different things okay, let's start with this just uh, yeah let's protect the pawn on c6 Now I think it's time. Made this move.
extra minor piece for black. Of course, our extra minor piece is not that cool in general. But anyway. Passer. Okay, next one. It's quite nervous game, but still quite nice. Okay, but we are far behind, so actual place is 28, we are playing quite slowly and Two pawns. But position is rather complicated, so we have to be careful here. Definitely underestimated White's initiative here, so... Now after this... Which looks like forced... We're at dawn the exchange. But okay. Because if he takes, there is... Uh, basically, uh, Bishop E7, but he decided not to capture. Alright, maybe it gives us some chances now. But probably no, it doesn't, so position is very bad. Bishop b7 was already possible. That's just lost position, so probably the second pawn was, wasn't that great to capture. Okay, now it's lost. We have to take here. can we do with all this? <clears throat> but he's doing something strange with his bishop. I mean, now his bishop is definitely misplaced, so probably we have some chances now. Look at this, bishop c7, rook a2, we have connected pawns. Potentially, we can even play rook a6 having three connected pawns, so it's not that lost. Well, now definitely not. I mean, alright. Let's keep on moving. Alright, this is great. I mean, look at this. Pawns should be should be good, I guess. So we cannot play b4 now because of bishop d6 check, but we can prepare this gradually. I mean, what if I don't know c3 maybe? Let's play c3. Hmm. 
Now rook to b2. Simply intend in c2 and rook b1. We're gonna win this, I think. We're just gonna win this. Wow, I was super lucky in this game, but still. Maybe it's not winning yet. G5 was better. Okay. Now we can do this, basically. It's over now. Okay. Next one. Next one. So, in the previous game, once I took on a2, of course, I already had good compensation for missing exchange, although my pieces were misplaced, but these pawns are very good. So, my opponent should have won this uh, earlier. He had a chance to take my queen uh, at the very beginning. When I played queen e5, immediately queen e5, knight e5, bishop e7, which is much better than what he did. Alright. So, a4, bishop g4, everything according to theory. And d3 giving me a chance to play knight e4, that is something strange. I mean, I can grab the bishop now. Spanish bishop, the main piece of this opening. That is strange. Okay, let's grab it. Of course, with pleasure. With pleasure. We need a streak. We need a streak, otherwise, we have no chances to compete. So I have to actually, I have to win one game after another. very dynamic like I'm my current place is 24 may change at some point and it's better to change it for the better <laughs> okay bishop d2 after c4 I don't know where the knight goes but let's first castle So we have a pair of bishops, we control the center very well, and the uh, position looks very promising. Would be nice to play f5 at some point, just to open it up. Queen e2. Okay, let's clarify the things with the pawn a4. The knight is unpinned. The knight is unpinned. gonna play rook a1 I think it's great because I'll just capture and play queen a7 with a temple no now let's maneuver the knight towards d4 square I guess and also we control h4 we're ready to play bishop g5 whenever knight goes away so for example now forcing the queen to g3 I think it's a good idea in general to get rid of this stupid bishop so let's do it now let's occupy a2 
My opponent is in a severe time trouble now. Alright, this cannot be good. Let's take the pawn attack in the knight. This knight has not so many squares to go with. Okay. Alright, next one. So streak is three at the moment, so we managed to win three in a row. Right, we have to continue doing this stuff. Question from Warbaster. Hey Andre, are you Russian Privet from Ukraine? No, I'm Ukrainian. Tosh Privit. Nice E3. <laughs> D5, never seen this before. What is this? Probably it's a pliable move, I'm not sure. But... What if we play Bishop B5? Queen in the night and attacking it. Now we can simply take on d5, winning some material. Yeah, Fuxia says that d5 was weird, surely. That's strange. Now queen e2 deserves attention. Okay. Push up f4, maybe. Another active move. question where are you from originally from Donetsk but I've been living in Dnipro for several years prior to moving to Germany okay knight g6 I think I can simply capture on c7 so win in one more pawn Now taking with the king is possible, taking with one of the knights. It's also a good idea, I don't know what is better. Let's try capturing with the king, I think. It's okay. Bishop c5, I guess knight to b3. Just a tempo move to, to prevent black from castling. I don't really achieve it. So. Let's take. I'm somehow misplaying it, but I guess I'm still fine. So probably black will regain <clears throat> one of the pawns, but I still have one more. I still have one more. The only problem here is that I'm short of time. Position is anyway very good. Probably just winning. Just winning. Alright, let's bring the knight to active position. I wanna put it on at five. It's exactly where it belongs to. Attacking g7 and creating sort of knight d6. Now knight d6 looks promising, but I'm tempted to centralize everything prior to. get into active operations. 96 was not any, anything winning the material because of King C6. Okay, F6. Let's limit the activity of his pieces a bit. He's anyway quite badly placed. Bishop is gorgeous. Controlling everything on the Queen's side being placed on the king side. Typical thing for a bishop. Ability that the knight is deprived of by nature. 
Okay, next game. Well, it's probably premature, but anyway, it's better for us. <laughs> So, Warbaster says that my English is very good. Thanks a lot. I know it is not. <laughs> but I try my best. Alright, so d4. No, queen e2. This is weird. This is weird. Very strange move. Very strange move. Alright, let's just castle. I don't really care. Now let's play this. Don't quite get white supply here. Okay, it's not the end of the world for, for black. This weakens e4 and after d5. I'm just I'm just slightly better already. So look at this position. It's just gorgeous for black. This bishop on b6 actually defines. Defines everything in this position, I mean. Start attacking at two. All right, now queen f7 to attack d5 for just knight f6. I don't know, everything looks quite good for black, but what is better? Actually? What is better? Mm, not quite sure, so let's just get rid of this knight to start with. So even if I have something that is not that much, probably, but all my pieces are quite good, quite active here. Feels like I should have something here. How to provoke the weakness. How to provoke the weakness. Let's try rook h5. What is he gonna do? Yeah. Of course. Now let's try queen to c4. Attacking d5. Attacking d5. So white basically has a lot of. Uh, vulnerabilities here, so. and I can grab the rook now. That was a huge blunder, I guess. All right, queen g4, but I have this move. This simple move. Okay. Okay. Should be winning, I suppose. So come on, my friend. It's time to resign. I don't know how to how to force you. He's not going to resign, right? Let's squeeze him then. Now he's gonna resign, I think, immediately or after. Check on a8 or something, I don't know. I don't see a good defense against. Oh, here's the good defense. Okay, missed that completely. Okay, let's go. The streak is five now. Let's keep on rolling. Serious opponent, 24-6-1. What is this? 
<laughs> Did you see this? All right. Thank you. Streak is six now. It was too fast, I guess. Just overlooked probably that I uh, went to b3, not on c2. Maybe he expected something like bishop c2. Um, okay. remember how to react to this actually um, from the Queen e7 he's a move all right now I have pair of bishops but c6 is hanging as far as I remember it's possible even to sacrifice it somehow like to play rook to b8 Queen c6 takes g3 takes b2 something like this Maybe it is just my bad memory. Playing mean games against me, but I guess, I guess it's fine. Yeah, I do remember this trick. I do remember this trick. Now he's gonna win a pawn, right? He's gonna win a pawn. Let's try to come up with some sort of counter play. And now we're pawned down, but he's still not castled. There's an interesting idea of playing Queen G5, attacking the pawn. Bishop A6 is also interesting. By Bishop A6, there is Castling Lawn, also possible. Mm, quite hard to understand. Okay, let's try Queen G5. There's at least a concrete move attacking the pawn on G2. Mm. I should actually repeat the theory there at some point. I don't like my position now. I mean, it still still promises me some some counter play, but to be honest, completely, it is not something you usually want to achieve. Moreover, White's play could have been improved. Could have been improved several times. All right, but now. I have a feeling I can take on b3 here. Rook b3 takes b3 and just queen to f3. Isn't it a checkmate simply? It looks like a checkmate. Look at this. This is great. Okay. I have to try it because I don't quite believe in this, but... Oh hell. I just missed one resource. Yeah. Intermediate f3 move actually. Yes. Crap. I had a feeling that it cannot be true. But it was so nice that I wanted to try. I mean, the queen is so misplaced. Oh, uh, it's a pity. It's a pity now. I think we're lost. Almost lost. So you know what could be a good move here? Let's play rook to five. But anyway, there is no compensation and no time. No compensation and no time.
Okay, thank you. Now there is a compensation, but still no time. <laughs> still no time whatsoever. Three seconds only, no. It's not realistic. But my opponent completely misplayed it, of course. Yeah. Alright, next game. So we lost our streak, unfortunately. So let's try to build up another one. Not a big deal. Okay, so what to do now? What about just take in here? Take in here, take in here. Mm, I have only one piece developed really, the not in B5, but this not is gorgeous. So let's just complete the development somehow. I think this move makes sense covering b4 square, controlling d4 as well, so limiting the knight c6 mainly. And if I'm not mistaken, we have the extra pawn, which is nice. So let's castle. Or <laughs> Bastard says, go, go, go ahead for Mother Ukraine. Yes, exactly like this. Ukrainian school of chess. Previous game was not in the style of Ukrainian school of chess. It was just in the style of a patter. But all right. Well, shit happens after all. all right. Okay. So tempted to put this bishop on b6. Simple capture on f5 is also interesting, but then bishop takes b5, bishop d5, well, it should be also just, just winning. So, as I said before, I, after all, I just have extra pawn. I can simplify position a bit. So now g5 looks great. So let's go there. h7 is also my target. So, what to attack? This one first. And now this one. Oh my goodness. What should be played here? I don't know. Let's start with this. I'm not in a rush, right? So I can just improve everything gradually. All right, so h6 is my next target, I guess. That is strange. Uh, but I think I can do even this. Just attacking e6 and h6 simultaneously, like. We need some more material. Yeah. Time to convert it. Hm. Interesting.
I'm too slow. I have to play somehow faster. Show Miss Plain is fantastic. Oh, okay. That was that was amazing. So great advantage. Yeah, it was again the passer style. Right. I have to actually forget about all these games and just start playing from scratch. So let's focus on this game. Okay, let's go. Wow, that was unnecessary. F3 was possible, of course, Black had a compensation, but I don't think it was this winning, like here. Oh, Knight H2, come on. I'm still thinking of that game, I think. Uh, it's too bad. is very weak so fortunately this game will bring some points oh my god I don't understand this guy What is the point? Why like this? Put down the queen. No compensation. There is no fun whatsoever in playing this. But... It just keeps going. It keeps flying. That's fantastic. Not understandable. Come on, man. <laughs> no, you're still playing. We still have one hour, so it was just the first hour, so the half of the tournament. So we need sort of strategy for the next part. And now he's just, well, sitting and waiting. What the hell? So disrespectful, in my opinion.
really now. Okay, combination. Look at this brilliance. Next one. First win. So, I mean, in a new streak. Let's try to build a new streak. We're actually not in a rush because, as I said, there is still one hour. We have a lot of time. But at the same time, we have to be quite efficient. Otherwise, somebody can just grab all the points. There will be no chance for us to fight for the prizes. Nimto India. Indian defense. Okay. Typical maneuver to bring the knight to G six. have a chance to actually chase that bishop on g5 so from g6 the knight will actually grab h4 square and so on okay what is this preparation of the b4 seemingly let's continue with the plan let's just continue with the plan Forced. All right. That should be still better, even in this position. After all these simplifications, why should be still better? So this E4 is just a liability, I guess. And it's heading right now. So I have to do something ugly like H4. On the other hand, okay, I have a clear plan. I'm gonna play f5, f4. It's probably for k1. I just capture it and forget about the queen side and just completely focus on the, on the king side. Yeah, that is exactly what I was talking about. In any case, it looks like my best chance to play there. Sorry, sorry, my friend, but there is this simple tactics and takes the queen. That is the queen. Okay. Second win in this new streak. Let's go further. Let us go further. is acceptable and playable.
very solid position. All right, knight to d7. Now I think it's a good time for us to play d4, in fact. Just creating some pressure. F5? No, I don't think it's a good idea. It just weakens a lot. It just weakens a lot. There should be something tactical. Reminds me of the old game of Capa Blanca. What about something simple like this? Oh, seriously, okay. Okay, thank you. So now it's definitely lost for black, but we still have to win this. So, how to win this? Convincing. Take the pawn. Check. No, my friend, that is not how chess works. Too many blunders. Too many blunders. Extra rook now. Extra rook. Time to resign. Time to resign. Let's grab the queen. No, these guys are playing till the very end. Wow. Okay, it's understandable the guy is rated like 1700s. Let's keep on playing. So the third win in this trick. And now series opponent twenty three hundreds. It's really aggressive. It's really aggressive. As far as I remember, it's possible to grab this one or to play C four immediately. I don't remember what is the trick there. Should be like the same. Okay. I'm fine here. There's two extra pawns, right? Now it's time to complete the development somehow. Alright, 94 is possible, I guess. Yep. 
let's do it. And here is our development completed. I'm not sure where Bastard, why do you have a black screen? It's on my end, it looks. It looks like working. So. I have no idea what happened. And by the way, it's a winning position. So, extra material, and now I will have even more of that. Rho G3, it's not clear what to do. Now probably just just like this. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe H3 was better immediately. Didn't know. Hmm. Hmm. Nice trick. Nice trick, by the way. Okay, let's take this one. still winning. Okay, maybe not that convincingly as I wanted, but should be still winning. Two connected pawns should beat. Should beat black, I think. Oops. Misplayed even this. Look at this. Wait, even this. Okay, we lost another streak, and that was just a fantastic, fantastic blow. <laughs> Amazing. How can International Master actually uh, fuck up a position like this? Unthinkable. Should also repeat the theory of rook endings.
So quite aggressive approach. Quite active setup. I like this position. Pawn on e7 is fixed. Will be a constant problem for black. It's also important to put the pieces in right squares. So let's start with this move. Just what I wanted to do, a5. sure if it is anything specific behind it but looks nice to force the key in here now it's okay perfect just to come back the key in there looks a bit misplaced In this knight c4 move at all. I mean, I'm not sure what what is going on. Probably again, I'm just missing the pawn. And, oh my god! Oh my god! I keep on playing the bullshit. Just keep on playing the bullshit. Right, let's stay here. Let's just attack this guy. I regained the minor piece here, and the pawn structure is not that great for black. So my bishop starts working, actually. I was curious if I can activate this bishop at some point, and it looks like I managed to achieve something. Alright, now let's take on b5 with the bishop. going to exchange queens here. This position looks just amazing for what. But where is my wing?
I was not very convincing, but at least I won the game, right? At least I won the game. So uh, slightly less than 40 minutes are left. Time to achieve something. Try to come up. Time to come up with a new streak. <laughs> Otherwise, will be nothing. In the sense of prizes. Knight c6, okay, e3. Fuxia says good game, it was not. In fact, it was not a good game. I blundered several times, I didn't tell you guys about that, but <clears throat> there was a good way for my opponent to improve his game. I'm somehow misplaying even this. doing here not sure this bishop is strong bishop is strong structure should be slightly better for me but this bishop is quite good I'm struggling because of that but this is this sort of help I think or maybe not maybe it is not maybe it is not maybe it is you know not so clear Knight is gonna occupy what? D3, I guess. So let's attack C3. Hmm. But I can take here anyway. <clears throat> that was the idea. Alright, I thought he would take on C3. That was a mistake. Um. I think this is the most promising anyway. No, it was not. Too many mistakes. Just too many mistakes. My play is quite bad. is quite bad tonight. Okay, what to do now?
At least a nice checkmate, right? At least something. Something satisfactory. Okay, Fuxia, good luck. Thank you for being here. <clears throat> The dragon is met with something <coughs> calm and solid. Okay, this queen e2 was a bit stupid because I anyway didn't have the threat of taking on e7, so should have probably played something else. All right, but this is, or maybe rook c5 after that. It's unclear if I can capture there in general. Okay, let's play queen d3 protected d5. Now I have a threat of taking on a5. And I have a sort of taking on e7 as well. Bishop f5 actually <laughs> solves both problems, and I somehow missed this. One. Yeah, my play in this game is just uh, very bad. Fortunately, I didn't make a critical mistake. So. Still having some pressure in Black's position. Okay, B5. Zurich is under attack, is he gonna sacrifice something here or just keep on playing normal chess? I'm not sure. Rook e4. Okay, probably probably a good decision. Sacrifice some. I don't like my position at all, and I hate this game. He decided not to win the material, I guess. Metal Eagle says the entire if your play is not as sharp as usual. Yeah, that's right, absolutely so. I'm playing not convincingly at all. That's true. That's true. So actually, everything started very nice. I managed to beat Hammer, but then at some point I started misplaying many games. There are still some chances. Though, but they are now very tiny.
<clears throat> so somehow my opponent started thinking too much. Now I win some material, I guess. Now I win some material. The position remains quite complicated, I guess. But after this, I come up with a simplification. All right, streak three. Three wins in a row. The best six in a row. So let's keep on doing, let's keep on doing the thing. We have 25 minutes left. Mm, let's try to be slightly more aggressive. Let's try to be slightly more aggressive. And faster. Let's try to make decisions faster. All right, Knight E2. What is not fighting for advantage? I think, or at least I don't understand how is it possible to fight for advantage this way. So let's separate B5 and A3, preparing some like Queen A5 at some point. Bishops, no problems at all. All these pieces are potentially misplaced, but maybe I'm overestimating my chances. So first of all, we have to solve the problem of the bishop because it is quite, quite badly placed there. And also this one on C8 is something that we should solve quickly. Extra minor piece. Extra minor piece now. Let's put the knight in this central square. I know I could have probably captured on a3, but I want to just complete the development. Special on c8 is still not very inspiring, guy. Okay. Probably queen goes to the center. Queen goes to the center. Knight to d3. Now I think it's time to capture this. <coughs> so I improved my position a bit. Now it's time to grab some material. Why not? Rook c4. What's going on? Not quite sure. Rook 
What about promoting this pawn? Okay, there is no queen f2. Because knight protects it, but ed5 is just good enough. Grabbing the rook on g4. Okay, man, it's time to resign. Come on. No. He's playing till the end. He's just a true fighter. He's just a true fighter, this guy. Alright. It is just smashing. <laughs> okay. Streak 4. And super strong opponent. Krikor Mehitarian. Grandmaster. Streamer. Simply great guy. <clears throat> and I'm misplaying it simply. Of course, knight a5 and then b4. That's how it is played. Stupid me. Just confuse the move order. My position is still not that entirely bad. Still have some compensation for all this. About this. Okay. Now e5 is hitting, that's the problem. But I can try this. And this. No. No, it's just amazing. I, I'm just blundering everything here. But fortunately, I have bishop f5. I mean, taking on d5 was just losing the piece on e7. Fortunately, I have bishop f5. I didn't see that. Okay, we still have some chances. Still have some chances to fight. Because these double pawns are not that sexy. <laughs> so... I have some squares here, so for example, d6 can be used as an outpost later. And, well, white decides to give me a chance to capture in d5. I think I probably have to. Now the knight is under pressure, and knight e5 is coming. That, that's the problem. How to play this correctly? Knight to c3, maybe. Too risky, but... My position is anyway very bad, so let's try that. No, that is too much. Bishop f6 first. Yeah, everything is protected, even overprotected there. Very strange position. Very strange one. Got his queen. <coughs> <coughs> that 
I wish only almost. Some tricks. I've got some tricks. Look at this. Rook B2, Knight D3. We're gaining the material. Very nice. Even winning some. Even winning some. Here we go. All right, this is win, big win, streak five. Streak five now. Let's keep on playing. We have some chances. We have some chances. Still some chances. Thirteen minutes only. Current position number five. Not very inspiring, but. I don't remember. Maybe there are some non-titled players ahead. So okay, at very least I just managed to beat two grandmasters this night. Also, sort of result, right? Also, sort of result. Why didn't I take on d5? My goodness. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. It was possible to be. It's just fun. Now it's lost completely. My goodness. That's, that is just fantastic. How can you display the position like in several moves? That's amazing. Cheap bluff and yeah, very bad. I 
Okay. But anyway, there are no chances in this game. Probably I have to resign. Oh! What the hell is that? Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you. That's fantastic. That was just a great present. He resigns. I don't understand what is that. I was like talking about res resignation, but he decided to resign himself. Oh, nice. Okay, Creek War again. Creek War again. That's interesting. So the second game against the same guy. It's possible when you play Arena. It's possible when you play Arena. That was that was something. Super strange. I mean, I don't understand that at all. Question: You Russian? No, I'm not. <clears throat> I'm Ukrainian. 95. Rook 8 super attacks in B2 and just preparing the development of the bishop. The question is where to put it. Probably E3 is not that bad square. Yeah, so probably Queen F3 wasn't that great, I would say. Now my position sucks, simply. Simply sucks. Alright, let's try to survive it. It'll be very hard. Sweet tooth black man, I don't answer stupid question. Alright, at all. So you can type whatever you want there. I will just ignore you, starting from this very moment. <clears throat> yeah, position is not that great. Honestly, it's just, just bad. It's just bad. But since his pieces are not that active yet, I think I, I still have some chances. It's a good idea to simplify it a bit. Maybe it's a good idea to simplify it a bit. Should probably rook to b6. Right now, isn't that bad? Rook c4, but only four is hanging. That's that's annoying. Okay, but we we'll also get some some materials. So. Oh, that was just a big blunder. That was just a big blunder. Why did I do that? I have no idea. Mm, too many threats. Too many threats here. So it's basically lost. 
basically lost. There are some tiny chances still, of course, but I don't I don't really believe in this. Oh, blundered another rook. Oh, he didn't notice that. Fantastic. Just a great lock here in this game. Actually, the queen takes d7 and it's over. No, no chance. All right, resign. I deserved, of course, losing this game, for sure. Okay, and we lost our streak. We lost our streak, which is very bad. Now I think uh, it's really, really hard to fight for anything. All right. So three minutes only, I think this game will not really change anything because uh, I'm not gonna even finish it. But who knows, maybe maybe there will be something. We will see. So sixth place, which is quite sad, but who knows, I don't know who's there. Um, probably there are some non-titled players ahead as well which means that well there is a tiny chance that i will actually fight for maybe third prize or something like this because uh the system of uh, prize awarding here is that uh, there is a uh, separated awarding for titled players and non-titled ones and somehow i managed to get not that bad position so i want to play h5 Trap in the bishop, with h6 or h5, then I just take the bishop and damage the pawn structure. Knight e4, I can still play this. And the bishop is almost trapped, so right, takes. and f6 probably is his idea but it's anyway very very dubious position after f6 and doesn't really help I just take on c6 first and then go away with the bishop so his bishop is trapped All right, so let's take it so extra minor piece now but I'm not sure I'm gonna win this if he's a mean person he will wait because we have like one minute 14 seconds till the end of the game and the thing is until the end of the tournament so he can he can basically wait he can basically wait and uh, the game will be just aborted. Yeah, 
Yeah, almost 30 seconds to the end of the tournament. It's unrealistic to win such a position. So quickly, unless he blunders something, but highly unlikely this will happen. <clears throat> yeah, the game will be aborted now. Okay, 61 points, streak. Okay, so the first place and the second place and the third place are all guys that are actually non-titled. Wow, probably I just uh, won the prize even. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the standings. So, first three places are guys that are non-titled players. Then there is uh, Robert Hess on the place number four. Uh, my opponent from the last round on the place number five, uh, who is also not not a rate, uh, sorry, title player, and I am six. So basically, uh, Robert Hess takes the first title prize, and I take the second title prize. Uh, very nice. Not not that bad for such a uh, well uh, bad going tournament, to be honest. So at some point, I started misplaying everything, but uh, well, actually during first I would say 15 20 games I was quite good actually beating hammer and so on uh, at some point uh, towards the end of the tournament I also managed to beat Creek or Mkhitaryan but then I actually lost the next game to him so not that bad result after all I would say so some money some bucks uh, very nice and well there are a lot of uh, interesting games as well uh, thanks for being me thanks for watching this and um, well, don't forget to follow me on Twitch, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, because it is the best way to be notified in time about any chess-related activity of mine. All the links can be found here below my name. And, well, all the best, guys. Uh, see you very, very soon, hopefully. Bye-bye.